Um, so my name is Justin Chen. I graduated from Oberlin in 2011. Uh, I studied creative writing and biology while I was at Oberlin. Uh, after I graduated, I spent one year at the NIH, the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C. I was like a post-bac research intern. Um, and during that year in Washington, D.C., I also applied for graduate school and biology programs. And I was accepted to MIT, so I went there. Um, and I've been there for about four years ever since then, doing uh, molecular biology research. Most people who go to grad school um, in biology, they either go towards like an academic track, becoming a professor at a liberal arts institute or school like Oberlin, or maybe a, like a larger research institution like Ohio State University or something. Um, or they go to industry, and I'm interested in going into science writing or science communication, so I think that's kind of like a less taking track Um, while I was here, I wrote fiction and I studied biology, but they never really mixed the two together. But while I was doing research um, at MIT, I kind of missed writing. And so I thought if I could kind of combine and do more nonfiction, kind of explainy stuff, then it could work out. Yeah. Like, I don't wake up and think, like, oh, I have a liberal arts degree, I can do these things. But I think it's influenced my thinking in a more subtle way. So, as I talked about earlier, I'm trying to go into more quote-unquote non-traditional career and I think having a liberal arts degree like equipped me for that because I have like a more balanced academic background so I have the tools to kind of combine writing and science. Moments that make me proud are when I'm interacting with other scientists um, because the people in my lab in particular I get along with really well and I feel like we're all like really idealistic <laughs> and we're all doing science because we love it and are super curious about the questions we're asking and it's just really great to talk to people like oh like this is my experiment and this is my result and what do you think it can mean and like oh like what do you think I could have done better to like have a more clearer result or interpretation and just having conversations with scientists and you know kind of being optimistic about the future and like what discoveries we can make and how to help people. We do very basic research too so it's not like we're designing a new drug immediately but you can kind of see the long term trend of where things could go. And I think, yeah, it makes me proud to be a scientist that we're working on something that, you know, it's like kind of explains how life works and, and there's a lot of like meaning to my life um, with that. Um, what I miss most and what I enjoy most about Oberlin and also being a student is that you could study so many different things. So like I was taking biology classes, but also English and writing classes. And it seemed like, you know, I really love learning and learning about like a wide variety of things. And it's one of the like the hardest but best things you can do is try to find um, leaders in your field who are willing to like take the time and you know give you some guidance.